Hi friends, in this video we are going to see one type of full wave rectifier and that is center tap rectifier. Let me draw the circuit diagram first. So this is a circuit diagram of a center tap rectifier where this is single phase AC supply connected to primary winding of a transformer whose secondary is center tap hence it is called as a center tap transformer diode D1 D2 and load resistance RL. Now let us understand it is working. So there are two half cycles that will come into the picture for this single phase AC supply. One is positive half cycle. If I consider this point as A, this is B and this is C. So during a positive half cycle, A is positive with respect to this C and B is negative with respect to C. Because of a center tap rectifier, the secondary voltage over here that is AC and BC is equal in magnitude and opposite in phase. So during positive half cycle I will draw circuit diagram one more time. Since A is positive anode of diode D1 is connected to the A point over here and cathode is like this. Since voltage will be negative at this point where is point B, anode of diode D2 connected to a negative point. Hence what will happen? Diode D1 will be forward bias. So it will act as a closed switch like this. Whereas Diode D2 will be open circuit. So D1 conducts. This is during positive half cycle. So there will be a current through load resistance RL in this direction, which will give a voltage which is output voltage like this polarity. So let us list out what are the things happening during positive up cycle. So during positive half cycle, diode D1 conducts and D2 will be open circuited. So there will be a current flowing through the load resistance in the direction of forward current through diode. What do you mean by forward current? Current flowing from anode to cathode. And this current will give rise to a voltage drop V0. Now let us discuss 
what will happen during negative half cycle let's see the circuit diagram once again so during negative half cycle this point will be more negative compared to this hence diode d2 conducts d1 act as open circuit and current will flow in this direction so let's draw the equivalent circuit diagram during negative half cycle so during negative half cycle the circuit diagram will be like this diode d1 will act as open circuit and d2 will be a closed switch this is the direction of a load current which will give a voltage drop like this across rl so let's list out what are the things happening first during negative off cycle d2 conducts and t1 open circuited so current flows through d2 and rl and current through d2 flows through forward direction meaning from anode to cathode this current through rl give rise to output voltage v0 now let's draw waveforms of voltages and currents first let's draw waveform of input voltage which i will call as v in so here i am having pi 2 pi 3 pi as the intervals and this is the peak value of supply voltage so this will be negative peak minus vm what we have said during a positive half cycle that is from 0 to pi i am getting output voltage same as the input because diode d1 conducts so the output voltage during positive half cycle will be like this 0 to pi is the interval for positive half cycle and i am getting output voltage because of conduction of d1 alone so this is a v0 output voltage waveform during negative half cycle the interval is from pi to 2 pi we have seen that d2 conducts and d1 will be open circuit and i am getting output voltage same as the input voltage like this voltage we obtained over here is because of d2 alone and this will be continue for next positive half cycle so once again d1 conducts from 2 pi to 3 pi and d2 conducts for 3 pi to 4 pi so this is the output voltage i am getting for center tap full wave rectifier let's draw current waveform i0 since i am getting a voltage across a purely resistive load 
obviously the current waveform will be absolutely same as voltage only difference is that its magnitude will get divided by load resistance value rl so ultimately i am getting current waveform same as the voltage waveform like this maximum value of current is nothing but maximum value of voltage divided by load resistance thank you